puts the one up. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. And so the captain steps up. Oh, he saved it! I think the keeper's done really well to save that, and he deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Barcelona with this chance to pull two clear. He has nerves of steel. And he's put them two in front. Madrid can't afford to miss another one. And he's found the corner. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. Barcelona looking to extend their advantage. He's put it wide. The third man in the queue. No, it's been saved. He was so focused there. Fantastic save. Barcelona can go two ahead. No, he hasn't scored. Vinicius Junior is fourth up. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Sergio Roberto is the last of five scheduled takers. Great stop, keeper's denied him. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Ter Stegen obliged to stop this to keep them alive. And there it is, the decisive kick. So in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. That is what football can do, and that is what football fate had stored up for them. It is... But regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre, and the decibel levels are rising. We're being met here by this wall of Catalan noise, 100,000 or so supporters singing in unison, and boy, it is some racket here. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only. He's had a hit! Goal, Barcelona! Listen, scoring early doesn't guarantee you anything, but the first goal was always important, and that's a terrific opener. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Oh, he's just loving that, certainly gives you a very unique feeling, tremendous. Busquets. Played in with accuracy. Oh, that's well spotted. Carvajal. Played out towards the right wing. That's Valverde. And he's got massive lead! Sergio Roberto, who has made his impact already. Played back to the goalkeeper. Tony Kroos. Barcelona clearly are trying to establish themselves as a team that likes to retain the ball, Peter. And it's a good watch, Jim, isn't it? Well, it is. And it's always a pleasure for me to see a team move the ball in silky fashion like this. But you know what's coming next, Peter. It has to be with a mean cutting edge. Kunde. And it's come back to the keeper.
Araujo. Barcelona leading by one and looking very comfortable on it. And it's Sergio Roberto. Vinicius Junior. Christensen. And here's Lewandowski. Habrá un minuto de descuento. Modric. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Barcelona leading 1-0 at the break. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Barcelona carrying a one-goal lead. It's in, and that looks to me very much like an own goal. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. So one moment's crazy confusion, but they all count. Look, often chances are hard to come by in these games, so just one mistake could be all it takes to make the difference. Rafinha unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Carvajal. La asistencia a este partido asciende a 98.000 Kunde. Araujo. He is through here. Lewandowski. Big chance. And that's caused a worry or two. Lewandowski certainly could have and should have made more of that. Valverde, who played through for the white man, Modric, and that has left him in a heap. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. And it's Lewandowski. Rafinha, who does have an assist to his name. Well, they deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. That pass needed to be better. Vinicius Junior, Nacho. Stands up to him well and emerges with the ball. It's a pretty loose pass. Valverde, he's got away. Nice little ball through. Uh, the less said about that pass, the better. Time for a change in personnel. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. And the number on the board is three. Just eases him off the ball. Now it's Lewandowski. And it's Sergio, Sergio Roberto! Chance again? No. And that is it. There will 